Yeah, hello everyone. Welcome back to my uh, YouTube channel for uh, implementing exercise. Today I'm talking about installing GNS3 without using VM. On my previous video, I have already uh, implemented the installing of uh, GNS3 using VM. But today's topic is different because we don't want to use VM. Why? Why we don't want to use VM? Some computers are having problem with connecting from uh, GNS3 software to GNS3 VM. When uh, whenever you, you you start GNS3, it's always give you error connecting to GNS3 VM. So to solve the problem, you need to uh, cut off the GNS3 VM or you just install the GNS3 software without using VM. So you just install it and then using on your local computer. Okay. So before you can install, you need to download the software. You can find it on the website of uh, GNS3. You can find the latest version as you want, but mine is 223, so I can use it. And the other two files are for the router and switch. Uh, not like Cisco Packet Tracer. Cisco Packet Tracer, when you install the program, you already have uh, software for uh, router and switch installed by default. But for GNS3 VM, I'm sorry, for GNS3 program, when you install, there are empty routers and switch. Okay, you need to install uh, separately. So you can uh, you can find it on the internet for uh, these two files. Okay, so I start installing now. Next, I agree. Next, here you need to take out the Wireshark and uh, Solar Putty. Why? Solar Putty uh, here they will give you the trial version only. If you install along with your GNS3 software, you won't use uh, as long as you want. This solar putty is using for remote to your device in GNS3, but it's uh, available uh, on GNS3 itself. Okay, you don't need to use another third party for here, especially solar putty. You don't need to use it because it's uh, it's not free. You need to buy the license. And also Wireshark, why I don't want to use Wireshark right now? Because uh, it's taking time to download from the internet. If your internet connection is uh, low, it will be taking much time. And one more, you need to use Wireshark when you want to capture the packet. Okay, But for my implementing, I don't use uh, capturing packets, okay. So that's why I don't want to use Wireshark. If I want, I can install it uh, separately, okay. So after you untick, you can click next, install. Just wait. Okay, this uh, netcap you need to install it because it's the driver to uh, for GNS3 to connect to your network device, your network cards, something like that. Let's finish. Then it's continue to install GNS3 software. Okay, next I think finish. 
Oh, one more thing, uh, solar wind you don't need to use because uh, if you say yes, it will be download from Google, uh, from internet, and it costs two hundred dollars for license. You don't need it. Okay, S say no. If you want to know more about uh, solar wind software, you can find out uh, on the internet what is the uh, uh, solar wind software using for. Okay. Now I can uh, start GNS3 immediately. Okay. Let me just minimize. I can minimize. And waiting for GNS3 starting. Yeah, it is starting now. Uh, when you see this uh, setup wizard, it means uh, it give you option to run uh, GNS3 software. Whenever you want to run GNS3 software, you can run on GNS3 VM or you can run on your local computer. Okay. Uh, today I'm talking about running on my local computers because uh, if you want to know how to install GNS3 on uh, GNS3 VM please refer to my previous video so I click run appliance on my local computer then I say next and then I say next next then I finish no, I don't want to uh, update. Now you have a GNS3 program installed successfully. But the problem you don't have a router and manage switch to start configure your network. So how to install the two file I just show you just now. This file, this two file. Okay. Go back to GNS3. Go to Edit Preferences. Go to iOS Routers under Dynamics. Then you uh, click New. New. Go to New Image. Go to browse your your uh, files that uh, support for router and switch. For me, I have uh, stored it on desktop, so I go to desktop GNS3. This is the router. Open. Yes. Next. 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 Uh, interface uh, slot 0 by default it gives you fast Ethernet interface I don't want to use fast Ethernet I want to use gigabit Ethernet so I change to gigabit Ethernet on slot 0 this is only one interface so I want to add another three interfaces with also GE okay slot 1 slot 2 and slot 3 so now I have four interfaces on my router. Okay. I have four interfaces on my router because uh, later I will use these four interfaces for my implementation in my exercise. Okay. So I go next. Then uh, you need to click ideally PC finder because uh, to prevent your CPU usage up to 100. If you skip this one, when you run the router on GNS3, your CPU will run up to 100%. So please click it. It will be find the uh, value of uh, ideal PC finder. Just wait. It takes some time. Okay.
it's uh, taking too much time. So I may pause this. No, no, no need because it's already done. Okay. Um, if it's taking more longer, I will pause the video. Uh, but it's already done. So just click OK, and then finish. So now I have already added one router. So I add one more switch. Go to new image. The same process. Go to browse your files on your desktop. Yeah. So I click this one. It's of a switch. So I open. Yes. Next. And I want to turn this router platform, router I iOS for switch. Because uh, to install switch for, man I mean to install manage switch uh, in Cisco, sorry, Cisco switch in GNS3, you need to use iOS router and turn it to switch. Okay, they said this is a uh, Ethernet router, Ethernet switch router, because I use router iOS working as a switch. Okay, do not forget to tick this, and then uh, I click next. Next. Uh, interface will be using for two slots. One is for router interfaces and this for switch interfaces. So when you configure your switch, do not use on slot 0. Use on slot 1 only. Uh, slot 0 will be starting from F0 slash something. F0 slash 1, F0 slash 2, something like that, or F0 slash 0. You don't use that one. Please use F1 slash 0, F1 slash 1. It's been on slot 1. 16 is net port. Okay. So just go next. Next. And also the same, you need to click ideally PC finder to prevent your CPU usage up to 100 when you running router and switch. It's also, I think, taking the same time, maybe uh, one minute. Just keep patient and wait for the result. Yes. And then you click OK. Finish. And then OK. Now you have uh, installed one router, one switch. Okay. So let's start to uh, create a new project. And I said test one okay my project called test one project and i add one router and i add one switch okay um let me connect from switch to router this is my uh, interface gigabit ethernet interface on slot zero it means zero slash zero on slot 1, on slot 2, and on slot 3. So I use slot 0 connecting to here. As I told you just now, slot 0 is mean F0 slash 0. You don't use this one because these two interfaces is for router. So you start using this interface from 1 slash 0 up to 1 slash 15. Okay, so I use 1 slash 0. Then you can start your configuration. Okay, this is how you install your GNS3 software on your computer and using on your local, not to VM. 
I think uh, that's all for installing GNS3 software. So I hope this uh, video can help you to uh, solve the problem and to implement your exercise. Thank you for watching.